Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. It's Excellent. <laughs> so the whole climbing process in the Olympics, how does that work? Yeah, it's slightly different. It's essentially you know, a combination of three disciplines. So you start with speed climbing, which is just like 100 meters of climbing. It's a race to the top and climb 15, 15 meter walls in about five to seven seconds or something ridiculous like that. Um, a lot of people don't think it's proper climbing because you know, you're doing the same route over and over again. Um, but I quite enjoy it and it's quite addictive. <laughs> And then after speed climbing, they do boulder, which is kind of like problem solving, essentially. It's just short climbs close to the ground above safety mats. So some of the hardest moves that the competitors will do will be in the boulder round. Um, they get multiple attempts at the, pro the problems within a like, set time period of a few minutes. And they have to do four boulders in qualifications and three in the final. And after boulder, you've got lead climbing, which is rope climbing, more of an endurance test. Um, so the climbers clip the ropes into safety points, and then whoever gets the highest wins. Yeah, so what, your position just gets multiplied, and the lower the number you end up with, the better. So if you win all of them one by one by one, you get one point. If you get, um, you know, you're trying to get that one in at least one of the disciplines, because as soon as you go further down the ranks, it's just doubling, tripling, quadrupling. It's, it's simple to understand, it's just, yeah, getting used to following three different disciplines. <laughs>